once again i welcome you guys to the make it simple youtube channel in this video we will see about what is cdk and this session is all about for the beginners who want to know about the cdk the full form of cdk is cloud development kit the main pre requirement for this video to follow is basic knowledge on aws services and typescript which is a superset of javascript i will give you a short intro about why i went for this topic who are worked in aws services for the learning or for personal use or for research or for testing they created the resources like s3 lambda sns sqs or whatever it may be through console only now think about the scenario like we are moving to the next level like we have to move our infrastructure that is our aws services to another environment or another account for testing in another account what if we have only read only access at the time we need to automate the process of creating the infrastructure that is our aws services aws provides infrastructure as a code option and cdk is the one of the way to automate the process of creating infrastructure through code let's get it in, into this video for more information on cdk the aws cloud development kit is an open source software development framework to define your cloud application resources using familiar programming languages what are the languages are available so aws cdk currently offers five language in general availability and one in developer preview like typescript javascript python java and c# .net and which one is a developer preview is golang the first program language aws cdk is always supporting type, typescript only all other programming languages are porting into typescript and executing that so i will usually prefer to write the cdk in typescript only now let's see how the aws cds cdk works when working or reading about a cdk you can often to see the three terms like the construct stack and apps let's see one by one the construct are basic cloud components you can use for the provisioning structure so this is how can i say like a basic building block an example for the construct is this one like this is s3 bucket so this one we can call as a construct and the next one here in the diagram is like stack stack refers to an unit of deployment like we can have more than one construct inside the stack so for example we'll see in the example see here this is kinds of stack and all the building blocks i explained in the previous slide the construct building block is a construct that get provisioned it will be included in the stack like for example if you want like q lambda means you can add inside the stack and next one is like an app so app to finally is a collection of one or more stack so here app refers to the whole cdk app see here in this example i have my construct like s3 bucket is a construct and my stack is the class name which i have the stack it refers to the collection of all the construct and app is a collection of one or more stack so basically app refers to the whole cdk app so this should clarify the terminologies and see this is the image which aws blog is uh, blogs or console will give this kind of cdk application how it works so everything in the aws cdk is a construct you can think of this construct like here in this image you can able to see the construct right for example sqs and lambda s3 and dynamo db are will it will be in the construct and to to have the reusability construct can include other construct also and you can compose construct together into the stacks and you can deploy into the aws environment within the apps and the app will be a cdk apps is a collection of one or more stacks so these are the three terms you need to know about the cdk like construct stacks and app and aws cdk uses aws cloud formation engine only for provisioning and building cloud infrastructure so everything which will be supported in cloud formation is shortly supported will in the aws cdk as well in the end aws cloud formation can be templates will be generated by using the cdk and our next question is like why i want to use cdk aws cdk right so now the important question is i asked like why i want to use the aws cdk now i will show you the history of infrastructure as a code so this is the history of infrastructure as a code if you look from the bottom to top the first one in the bottom is like manual as i said right in the starting itself everything started with the manual provisioning of cloud resources you open the aws console launching some services and you are interacting with each other so by doing so there is no history no governance and no code when aws launching tons of new services right and interaction it will become more complex like you have to create it manually every time over there which is not just a feasible approach anymore and 
much time now has to be spent on document like how to create the new environment from scratch each and every time you need to do document like how i create the resources and all and the next one is like next to the manual is like scripted after that many aws cli commands and sdks were introduced so we could finally use them and develop some script to provision everything but sdk and cli were not a perfect approach as well as because there was no concrete state and rollback logic and all it was like a kind of workaround to automate that's it and next one is like a kind of declarative which is a cloud formation or i can say terraform is, is also one of the uh, declarative uh, type only which they were introduced this was a real savior and is still one of the most used common methods for provisioning our infrastructure both are great but it is easy to automate the whole process of building the whole environments however you need to learn about the, the syntax or you have to create a huge yaml files or json files uh, and also you can't even do the debugging and testing and all so this is not a perfect as well as next one is like a dom who are worked on front end framework they know about the dom document object model so it's a great step in the right direction they they have introduced a tool called troposphere that did a great job here the main difference now was it can finally write a code but the bad thing is like the abstraction is not really built in like suppose i want to have the abstraction concept and all it was not it was not there because suppose i want to share code with other layers and all it is not it will not be there so uh, we went to the next one like componentize the final stage is like where we are today the cdk so with the cdk you have the benefits of using your own programming language if you want you can write in javascript you can write in typescript or in if you want you can write in dotnet whatever you can write in your language and that means you have all the benefits of uh, using the code as such as abstractions and ide also you can use visual studio visual studio code what are the tools you can make use of it and you can get familiarity with the familiarity with the syntax like if you are uh, well with the dotnet syntax means you can make use of that or if you are well versed in the javascript or typescript means you can make use of it but then also you will be making use of powerful provisioning cloud formation engine only this the code generates from the cloud formation templates and deploys them to the cloud so this is the cdk and history of the infrastructure code now now let's see what are the benefits of using aws cdk the one of the benefit is developer experience you are probably a developer right and you, you, you need to provision the code and if you are familiar with one of the programming language which cdk offers this is a huge benefit for developer to uh, to know, to learn their own syntax and uh, instead of writing the json file they can use their own uh, la familiarity language and write the code next one is ide benefits this is a great benefit like uh, as your familiarity with your own language right so you can make use of their own ide like if you can make use of visual studio code or visual studio and you can make use of thing and if you are if you don't know about the uh, like properties and all you just make uh, use of that ide and you can able to see all the properties and sub properties and all the next main benefit is abstraction this is uh, i can say like all the programs will be kind of abstracting right uh, and also like what is the benefit is like you can able to have like a kind of an abstract like you can have the higher level construct and then you can reuse them in the several uh, accounts or several environments so it you can write it as a one time and you can make it use it in another places also so this is one of the benefit abstraction and declarative so which means cdk still produce declarative output i can say like if you want to get and uh, since this is your code like before deploying your code you want to know like what is my what my code is exactly if the cloud formation template you can make use of the since this command will be there in cdk so you can able to do that next one is like stability so aws cdk is a huge project entirely of aws this means it has lot of manpower and focus on aws so uh, you can um, uh, take it and make use of this aws cdk and if you have any issues you can uh, reach out in the github of the cdk side and uh, we can able to get lot of uh, inputs from them and my next slide like how to make use of the aws cdk so who are worked on front end framework they can know what is that node models npm and all node js and all so with the node models npm you can directly install with the aws cdk if you are doing this one npm install ifng global aws cdk it will install the latest version so which is a version 2 in my coming videos i will explain about what is the difference between version 1 and one on version 2 there is not nothing difference only difference like how the packages are being explored and how they are, they are getting used that's one, that's it only and how to create the project with the aws cdk the, the cdk init app language gulp type script i will show you in the demo like how to create a app and how to deploy it 
now this is my folder and i already have uh, uh, installed my cdk in my local so directly i am going in uh, to create a launch an application or create an application so i'm make use of command prompt over here and i can check what is my cdk version and it'll show like 1.1.40 so i want to make use of application uh, create an application right so cdk init app i want to make use of an application the language like what is the language i want to use like language equal to typescript so you can make use of any languages so within fraction of second it will start initializing your project and you begin the screens you can able to see in the folders like the projects getting created so it will take around 20 to 30 seconds for the project to get make ready once it is ready i will show you in the code like what are the construct stack and app and all and i will explain you about how to deploy the code it's very matter of bits only yeah that's done so i want to open this with my visual studio code so there's a shortcut code dot so it will open it in my here and that's it so inside the library folder you can have everything the node models so who are worked on that front end framework you can able to know relate to each other like package.json cdk the config file and all i'll directly go to the stack okay this is a stack and inside the stack i have this resources okay for exam testing uh, they will be giving the resources um, if i want to include this resources means i want to this is a queue resource so i want to include the package for that i need to install this package like aws cdk sqs so for installing the package i can give the command npm install aws sqs so it will install the package and it will add it over here in the package.json file see here after it's added it will be have an one entry in the dependency sections yeah it's then then added now i am going over here i am just uncommitting this piece of code for as of now you can include any other resources also i'm just control uncommenting it and see here this is the queue as a one of the aws services i want to get created the add the package suppose i want to include the other properties like name retention period there are a lot of properties will be there and i want to know what is the type and all if you are using cloud formation means you, each and every time you need to go and see the their official website and also need to know about what is type and all but here it's a own from familiarity with the program language right just clicking f12 it will go to that language or go to the properties like what it is like for example the props is belongs to q props again i am going to the definition and it will show you like what are the properties and all see here the q name belongs to string and uh, other properties are like retention period which is of type duration de delay delivery the lot of things will be there so you don't need to worry about it and what i am giving is like i'm just removing this property i'm giving q name suppose you don't know means you just give control tab it will list down all the properties i'm giving q name and q name is like i'm just giving as demo iphone jan 29 that's it i'm saving it and now what i'm doing is like i need to build this code npm run build that's it it will get built before that i will explain you like what are the commands it will have suppose you don't know what are the different types of command cdk offers means you just type the command cdk that's it it will list down all the commands over here see there are other commands it will offer us like cdk list synthesis bootstrap deploy watch everything over there i will explain you about little uh, couple of commands like uh, i'll that uh, the npm run is got built now i want to deploy this code cdk deploy yeah i, I forgot to explain like this is my construct so this is uh, construct uh, which is the service i am using queue inside this stack cdk demo stack and this stack will be called from the my app so my app will be the binary folder so here this is my app it consists of everything and now it will call my cdk demo stack so if i give f12 means it will go to definition means it will go to my stack over here so you can able to relate it like this is my construct and this is my stack and this is my app and it has a information over there that's it now if i want to deploy means i just give cdk deploy 
iPhone, iPhone, I want to give the profile. So whoever worked on AWS Cloud Formation, they let to know how to run the Cloud Formation deploy command. So this is the profile, and I am giving my profile name. That's it. So what will happen is like it will start to deploy, and in my Cloud Formation, my stack name will be CDK Demo Stack. Now let's see. Yeah, see here, it starts synthesizing. Meanwhile, I will go over in my Cloud Formation. If I refresh it, my stack is getting created, and if I go over there, SQS. It will start installing, or uh, it will launch my services also. Like queue, right? See, a CDK test queue will be there. We'll see what is the queue name I have given. I have given queue name demo Jan 29. Okay, let's see. I will refresh it. We'll see my cloud formation is uh, successful or not. It's uh, completed. I don't know what's happened here. CDK test queue, CDK demo stack. I will see the events. CDK metadata, CDK demo queue should be there actually. Okay, I will refresh the whole page. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> If I refresh the whole page, it is there. Demo Jan 20. This is my queue. Which is got created through my cloud formation, okay. And if I want to see what is the cloud formation comes into picture, like I want to make use of synth command, cdk synth, iphone iphone profile, kartik iphone iam. So if I make synth means it will create a folder in our uh, folder itself here, and you can able to see this here. For example, cdk synth. I can give like template dot json. See here, the template dot json is there. I can able to see what is the stack it completely. It's getting produced through CDK. So see here, this much of lines it it is getting uh, uh, generated with the help of Cloud Formation engine. If you want to know about different types of command means in the readme file they have like cdk uh, deploy diff and synth and all we i explained about cdk synth and cdk deploy if i want to delete my uh, cloud formation template you can just give cdk destroy that's it cdk destroy again iphone iphone profile kartik on iam that's it it will automatically destroy my cloud formation template before destroying it it will ask me question like whether i want to destroy or not See here, it will ask my question. I'm just giving yes, and it will start deleting my cloud formation here. Cloud formation and the resources. See, deleting in progress, and my resource also will get deleted. Okay, that's it, friend. Uh, this is all about the session for the beginners who want to know about the CDK. In my upcoming session, I will explain about how to write the test cases and how to make use of CDK to create a more complex resources. And if you have any doubts, you just ping in the comment section. I will be there to clarify your doubts. That's it, friend. Thank you.